in one corner, the Neanderthal. Short, stocky, built for brute strength, can shake off a bone fracture like it's a bee sting. In the other corner, the Cro-Magnon, our own species, thinner, weaker, and not well built for an ice age when temperatures could hover around 25 below. It's an odd looking group of hunters on the move toward the herd. They all have lightweight, razor sharp spears, just like the one that fell near the Neanderthals. The clan is too petrified to move. Who are these strange men? We really have no. Within seconds, the Cro Magnons have felled four of the reindeer. Four kills at once. It's a success rate the Neanderthals can only dream of because they lack the technology for long range hunting. Any prey they take down comes. It can be extremely aggressive when provoked, certainly not the ideal prey to be hunting at close range. While one of them grabs the rhino's attention, another grabs onto its hairy body and hangs on. Now, with the animal totally distracted and off balance, the last two hunters go in for the kill. One spear to the throat, one to the heart. But the Deep inside were the bones of several giant cave bears, some of the most ferocious predators of the Ice Age. The skulls and bones of these bears seemed to be stacked neatly within an opening beneath the cave floor, in an arrangement that seemed suspiciously intentional. The previous afternoon, they had watched as the hunters skillfully took down a pair of wild horses with throwing weapons, just like the others had done months earlier with reindeer. The Neanderthals waited until the Cro-Magnons had taken all they could. Then, they crept over to the carcasses and scavenged what was left. The perpetrators were an aggressive band of cro magnons looking for spoils, meat, animal skin, even women. In the chaos, two teenage girls, sisters, had been abducted. 